it's bittersweet because I'll miss it. For 87 years, it's been part of the local landscape in Cambridge Bay, Nunavut, sitting half submerged just offshore. But now the Maud is returning to her homeland. It's very emotional knowing it's going to its uh, rightful country. The ship, named for the Queen Maud of Norway, was built for famed explorer Roald Amundsen. It left 100 years ago, designed to be a floating scientific research station locked into the ice at the North Pole. She never made it. When Amundsen went broke, the ship was sold and used as a floating warehouse. Eventually, in 1930, it sunk here in Cambridge Bay. It's a bit strange that this important ship has spent uh, all these years uh, abandoned. Seven years ago, a group of Norwegians led by Jan Vanguard pitched to bring the mod back. They got the permits, community and government support, and then did the impossible, raising the preserved massive wooden hull from the salty waters. After the Norwegians explained why it had such a significant part of their lives, that the people said, OK, she belongs to the Norwegians, she should go home to Norway. I'm very overwhelmed by all the practicalities. Of course, it's a uh, milestone for the whole project, so we're very happy. As the ghost-like ship finally sets back out to sea, Brenda Janke hopes the community's gesture to let the mod go will help bring something back, namely pieces of Inuit history taken overseas. We have a lot of artifacts and a lot of um, materials that belong to Inuit Right across the Sokrum polar world in Europe, hopefully we can gain all of our artifacts. The barge and the mod will spend this winter in Greenland before making the final leg of the trip to Vala, Norway. A Karen is all that is left in her wake. The mod's final resting place, a future museum in Norway. Kate Kyle, CBC News, Cambridge Bay, Nunavut.